Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. In this video, I will continue uh, part 3 to solve the Z transform of x n negative a to the power of n u negative n negative 1. Okay, this is the fundamental signal that you need to know how to derive to get the Z transformation. First and foremost, okay, we go to general equation. Okay, this is the general equation on how to convert uh, any signal to using Z transformation. Okay, so this is the general equation. I believe all of you must know this equation. For the solution, you need to substitute signal, XN signal from this uh, signal into the general equation. So you get this equation. Whenever you saw unit step function under summation and integration, you need to uh, change the limit. So how you change the limit? Okay, we know that uh, unit step function, the original signals is like this. Start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, until positive infinity. The amplitude is the same, 1. Okay, this is, on, this is for un. But in the equation, it gives negative n. So you need to flip it first. So flip at y at this. So you will get left-sided signal for u negative n. Flip at y axis. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four until negative infinity, and the amplitude is also the same. So you will get left-sided. Uh, signal and then you need to shift to the right by one step only okay. shift the signal to the right so start from 1 0 negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 negative 4 the amplitude is still the same until negative infinity this is negative n negative 1 signal so the limit the limit will be changed from uh, negative infinity to 1 ok you can see here the limit is changed from negative infinity to 1 now I want to do inverse summation which is from 1 to positive infinity. How I do it? Inverse summation. If you want to inverse the summation limit, you need to add on power of negative 1 which is inverse. Then, you need to multiply with the power of negative 1. Negative 1 here, multiply with negative 1. Negative n, multiply with negative 1. So, you will get this uh, new equation. With inverse summation, you will get this equation. But, we know that fundamental equation is equal to uh, 
from 0 to infinity a to the power of n equal to 1 over 1 minus a. This is the fundamental that everyone should know uh, this. You need to apply this fundamental equation into our equation. So we can consider a is a here. But the limitation here is different. The fundamental equation, the limitation is from 0 to infinity. Our equation is from 1 to infinity. Okay, now I already write the new equation here. But uh, the limitation is start from 0 to infinity. Which, uh, the, which the signal is not exist at n equal to 0. Because... Our previous equation is start from n equal to 1. So, every time uh, you add on the signal that doesn't exist, you need to subtract it. Okay, so now how do we know that we need to subtract with 1? So, you just need to substitute n equal to 0 in this equation. Okay. So, Anything that power of 0 is equal to 1. So that's why we need to subtract by 1. Okay, now we are having uh, 1 over 1 minus A type of formula. So you just need to change from this equation to this. Okay, this one is we consider as a. So ju just rewrite it back and you don't forget to uh, subtract by 1 here. Okay, now I'm adding negative 1 inside the equation. So you will get negative 1 over 1 minus a to the power of, of negative 1 z plus negative by negative, we will get plus one. Okay, now I need to do cross multiply. Okay, so you will get negative one plus one minus a to the power of negative one z over one minus a to the power of negative one z. So eliminate the minus one plus one. Then you will get this new equation. Then, rearrange this equation, you will get this equation. When you remove the negative, the new equation will become like this. Z over Z minus A. Okay. But, this is also a same equation, an acceptable uh, equation that you can use for Z transform. Both of this equation. Okay, now I give you example like this. Xn equal to negative 1 over 2n u negative n negative 1. So this uh, this equation, this signals, actually I follow the, the type of this one. I just substitute 1 over 2 into the A. Okay. okay, now you will get the answer is XZ Z over Z minus 1 over 2 which is follow this type of Z transform. Z equal to Z over Z minus A. Which is A is actually 1 over 2. Now, how we want to find uh, ROC for this signal? Okay. So, we already have um, poles. Oh, sorry, this one is zeros. This one is both. Okay, so for zeros, z equal to zero, 
and poles z minus 1 over 2 equal to 0. So, z equal to 1 over 2. Okay, we know that this the signal is at the left side. This is left sided signal. So, the zeros and poles will be less than 0. This one, z less than 1 over 2. Okay, now I will draw the regions of convergence. This is a unit circle which is 1, negative 1. This is unit circle. Okay, now the zeros is at origin. Zeros. The poles is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. So, I will draw the, the regions of convergence. Z must less than 1 over 2. So, the ROC for new signal here is uh, within this circle point. Not including the unit circle okay previously a equal to 1 over 2 now uh, now the new signal is without negative which is a equal to 2 so how do we write the new z transform actually we just need to add negative here so the equation will be Negative z over z minus 2. 2 is a. Okay. A. But when we rearrange negative z over z minus 2, you will get z over 2 minus z. Eliminate the negative and then exchange the uh, the place, the location of 2 and z. Okay, from this uh, x and signal, okay, how do we get the zeros and poles? Okay, so from this equation, the z transform equation, okay, you will get z equal to 0 for zeros and for poles you will get 2 minus z equal to 0 so you will get z equal to 2 this is for poles okay. so we have two condition but you need to change the sign here whether it is big uh, small a uh, bigger than or smaller than okay. depends on the original signal unit step here but we know that from previous explanation u negative and negative 1 Whenever the uh, the unit step signal is negative, which it, which is like this, you need to uh, flip the signal from right uh, sided signal to left sided signal. So when left sided signal ROC will be less than. Okay. So zeros and poles will be z less than 0 and for post z less than 2 ok how do we uh, draw the z plane okay. 
Okay, so we just draw the Z plane. Zero is inside the circle at the origin. And pulse is at this two. So when less than, you need to. Uh, the region is inside the circle. Okay. This is include the unit circle. Unit circle one within one and negative one. The blue color pen is the unit circle. So ROC. For this equation, this signal is include the unit circle.